Diana. I hope you like and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Today I wanted to work a little bit with the word resistance. I know that brings up a lot of thoughts, resistance, but I'm talking about the physical body and resistance. So let's start very simply. Sit any way you want. I'm just sitting here with my feet underneath me and take your hands to your heart. I'm going to try and mirror you. So if my right hand is the dominant hand, it's going to go over to the left. If my left hand is the dominant hand, it's going to go over to the right. What if you took your hands right in the middle and press into both hands evenly? Personally, I feel that my spine lifts as a result. This resistance of pushing the hands together without one hand being domineering, one without one side being the dominant side. Close your eyes for a moment and just feel that. We all have a dominant side and a weaker side, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, right brain, left brain, you know, all of that. So the, one of the points of yoga, open your eyes, is to even out, it's the balance. Okay, so let's work a little bit with that in some poses today. We're gonna come on to the hands and knees. Now, I didn't say this, but if your knees are sensitive, always have a blanket or a towel or a uh, pillow for your knees. Because if your knees are bothering you, you should not be doing that pose without some support under your knees. The knees are, are really delicate more than we think, right? So I'm gonna start on my hands and knees. I'm gonna mirror you. I'm gonna take my right foot forward like that. I'm gonna lift my arms up and I'm gonna to twist to my right side. So I'm gonna mirror you. So it's your uh, left arm outside of the leg. And I'm taking my hands to prayer again. See how my hands are way up here towards my shoulder? I want you to press your right hand into your left hand. Feel that resistance and then press your right leg into your left arm. Feel the resistance and take the turn. If you'd like, if you can, you're gonna flex your back foot and then you'll straighten it, lift it up. And let's keep that resistance. So push down with your right hand, press your left arm into your right leg and your right leg into your arm. Feel the resistance. You'll feel more together, more compact. Much more compact, it brings strength and then take your knee back to the floor, point your foot and put your hands on the mat. Take a breath. Now we'll do the other side. So I think I should turn around, maybe that'll be better like that. And you'll take your left foot forward, mm -hmm, like that. Add your knee if you need to. Inhale your arms up. Now you'll twist to your left side, taking your um, right arm outside of the leg hands in prayer. So initially my hands are way up by my shoulder, but I want to press my, oops, my left hand down. So my hands are in between my shoulder, in between my uh, breasts. And then I feel that resistance. And then I resist my arm into my leg and my leg into my arm. You can stay with your knee on the floor or you can flex your back foot and straighten the leg and use that resistance to deepen the twist and feel stable in it. Stable in it. Press down with that left hand. Good, take your knee back down. Put your hands and knees on the floor. Take an inhale. Now with your exhale, take a downward dog. Just give yourself a stretch here. Of course, with your knees bent or straight, whatever, whatever you like. Now, it's, there is not much resistance here here you're pushing into the floor and lifting your bum and stretching out your legs, but you don't have that resistance to keep you connected. The only thing that connects you now is the breathing. So you take a few breaths here, and then I'm going to walk my feet towards my hands, separate the feet, bend the knees, look forward, put a lot of weight into your heels, and then inhale, stand yourself up. Uh, and fold all the way over again. I'm going to bend the knees, come into a squat if you can. If you can't squat, sit on a little block or don't squat if your knees hurt. Take a breath. Take your hands to prayer. Now, you're going to squeeze your knees into your arms and push your arms out into your knees. Knees pushing in, arms pushing out, lengthen the spine. Breathe in and out. Good. 
and put your hands back on the mat. Take them off the mat, come onto your bum and stretch your legs out ahead of you. Okay, shake them out a bit, shake them out a bit. And then I'll turn around again. I'm gonna take my block and sit on a block. If you have a block, use one. If you don't have a block, sit on a book. If you don't have a book, just uh, take up a couple of towels or something so you can be a little higher. And if you don't have anything, it's fine not to. Alrighty? So here we go. We're gonna take the block. I'm gonna sit up on it. We're gonna do the same twist a little differently to learn resistance. I'll mirror you. This is your right leg and this is your left leg out. I'm gonna inhale the left arm up. I'm gonna take it outside of the leg. So we did this in a twist a moment ago, right? But what happens here? I want to press my leg into my arm so my leg moves out and my arm moves in. When you feel that resistance, your back feels the stretch. It feels, it feels the curve. It feels the movement. And take another inhale and exhale a little further. So my leg is pushing out and my arm is pushing in. And I lengthen my spine up. I flex my other foot. So this feeling of being compact is very, very strong here. I'm turning, I'm twisting, I'm not just whipping my head around. Uh-uh, my head turns because my spine turns and because my shoulder turns. Take a breath, good. And then release, stretch out your legs. Let's do the other side, I'll turn around so you can see me on each side if you're doing it with me. So let's say this will be your left leg and I'll stretch the right leg out. I get comfy on the block. I like doing it a little higher up. It just gives me a little more range, a little bigger range. You don't have to do it this way. Okay, so first sit up. Start upright, right? And then you inhale your right arm up. I always take my knee, let's say this is your left knee. I take it in a little bit so the arm can go outside. But I don't let keep my knee going out to the, um, to the right. I push it to the left, I push my right arm in, I put my left hand on the floor. Why? Because I go, then I go up. If I go in I, to, to the side, I'm gonna collapse. The resistance lets me lift. The resistance of the leg pushing into the arm and the arm into the leg lets me lift and turn and I roll that left shoulder back and take a deep turn here. And I use my breathing and I imagine that the crown of my head is above my, uh, tailbone. I take a few breaths here. I feel what my back is doing. I feel that resistance. It's constant. I'm constantly pushing the leg into the arm and the arm into the leg. And then I'm inhaling up. Exhale, hands down. Stretch out the legs. And then I'm going to face you. Cross the legs any way you want to. Sit up for a moment. Take your hands down by your sides. Now, this is not quite resistance, but a little bit. So if you take your fingertips like little spider legs and push them into the floor, feel your spine lifting up because you're resisting. The more you root down, so your fingers are like roots of a plant, right, or a tree, and the trunk of the tree can lift or the stem of the flower can lift. Take a few moments, just close your eyes for a moment and feel it. And if you can't cross your legs, sit any way you can. And open your eyes. Thank you.